Well, this was an awkward way to reboot the Scooby-Doo franchise. Hey everyone, this is Rabbit Ball Animation Bliss, and this is a kind of special video I'm doing for today. So today's video is going to be all my thoughts about the new Velma show that just came out from a Scooby-Doo fan's perspective. And before I get into my thoughts about the show, here are a few words from the channel. All right, Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in 100 words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So as you guys may have noticed, I am a huge fan of the Scooby-Doo franchise. I've grown up with this franchise ever since I was a kid, and I loved everything about this franchise. I love the fact that this franchise is about four kids and their dog trying to solve the various mysteries surrounding the monsters that suddenly come up in any area that they come across to. And towards the end of each episode, the gang would unmask the monster and they find out that it's a criminal that's trying to scare off many people so they could continue their evil schemes. And I like how the gang is able to explain to the police about how this criminal was able to pull off this heist or was able to pull off becoming a monster towards the end of the episodes. So yeah, that's what I really loved about the Scooby-Doo franchise as a whole. I love the fact that the show's main focus is all about the mysteries as I'm a huge fan of mystery driven TV series. And I really love the relationships between the gang like Shaggy, Scooby, Daphne, Velma, and Fred. I like how they have such an interesting dynamic with each other. And I really love the characters of Shaggy and Scooby themselves. They're probably like the best characters of the TV series. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of Scooby-Doo because I just love the mystery elements to it. And I also love the fact that the show is able to balance its humor with the mystery setting at the same time. And I think that's the reason why this franchise has still remained to be around over all of these years. So yeah, I love the Scooby-Doo series for that. So when I heard that they were going to do an adult series featuring Velma, I was a bit interested because Velma is probably my third favorite character behind Shaggy and Scooby. And I was really interested in seeing what they were going to do with Velma's character in this new series. So I sat down and watched the show and oh my god, it's such a mess. Okay, so let's talk about what the show is all about first. So of course this show is about Velma herself and we get to see how she's trying to deal with being a high school outcast and she's best friends with Norville who's actually the Shaggy in this universe and it turns out that in this series Velma is not really friends with Daphne or Fred like Fred is being betrayed as a rich kid who doesn't really have any common sense and Daphne's being betrayed as the mean girl at school who's always bullying Velma. So that's how the characters are characterized in this show is that they're characterized very differently from how we usually see them in any Scooby-Doo franchise. But the main element of this series is that Velma suffers a lot of hallucinations and it turns out that her mother has been missing for many years and Velma tries to find her mother while trying to deal with high school life at the same time and that's pretty much the gist of this show. So what are my thoughts about the show so far? Oh yes, it is a mess. It really, really is a mess of a show. But before I get into what I hated about the show, let's talk about what I did like about the show. So what I did like about this show was the mystery element. I do like the fact that this show is about Velma trying to find her mother and she's suffering all of these hallucinations at the same time. I thought it was a really interesting twist to Velma's character. And I am a bit interested in seeing where they're going to take Velma's hallucinations next and if Velma's ever going to find her mother. But that's pretty much the only thing I really liked about this show. 
So let's talk about what I didn't like about the show. So the first thing I didn't like about the show were the characters themselves. Now I'm okay with them doing different takes on the Scooby-Doo characters. Like I've seen a lot of Scooby-Doo shows in the past that have very different takes on the mystery gang. And I was okay with that because most of the time they were written very well and I was able to take in those different takes of those characters. But with this show, the characters were just so unlikable. I didn't like any of the characters at all. I didn't like Velma as a character because while she's a very snarky character she wasn't that likable as she insults everybody she comes across I didn't like Daphne either because she's shown as being the school bully and I didn't like that interpretation of her character I didn't like Fred in this series because he's shown as being this rich kid who doesn't really have any common sense whatsoever and that's such a drastic change to the Fred we all know and love who's like the leader of mystery gang and tries to solve all the mysteries while I tried to keep a head on his shoulders at all times but the worst part about all this is that Scooby-Doo himself is not in the show and that really irritates me because if this is supposed to be a rebooted series about the Scooby-Doo gang where is Scooby-Doo he's like the main character of the franchise so it doesn't make any sense that you have a series that's about Velma Daphne Freddy and Shaggy and yet you got no Scooby-Doo in this series so that really upset me so much Probably the only character I actually liked in this show is Norville or Shaggy in this universe because he seems to be the only character who is kind of nice. And it was interesting seeing that he does have a crush on Velma throughout this series. But yeah, other than that, I don't really like any of the characters in the show except for Norville himself. And it was really disappointing because I was looking forward to seeing these different takes on these characters and see how well they were being written. And unfortunately, none of the characters were being written very well in this show. Another issue that I had with this show was the fact that it doesn't really feel like a Scooby-Doo show. As I mentioned before, Scooby-Doo himself is not really in the show. And the show doesn't really focus that much on the mystery aspect. As I mentioned, the main mystery aspect of the show so far is that Velma suffers hallucinations and she's trying to find her mother. And I would have preferred it if the show actually focused more on Velma trying to find her mother than trying to focus on all the high school hijinks that Velma finds herself in. Because it just takes away from the mystery aspect that I love so much about the Scooby-Doo franchise. And because it doesn't really focus that much on the mystery aspect of the Scooby-Doo franchise, this doesn't really feel like a Scooby-Doo series to me. And then the last thing I didn't like about the show was the humor. I felt like this show was trying so hard to be hilarious and I felt like this show has so much humor that I was trying to deal with social issues but it just came off as being very unfunny and being offensive at the same time and I just found myself not really liking the humor in the show at all and the fact that the humor in the show was so cringy to me just made the show really hard to watch at all. And I actually wish that they tried to tone down on the social humor. Like it feels like this show was trying to be a combination of Daria and South Park. It tries to be like Daria by having the main character be snarky and snark at everything that's going on in her school. And it tried to be like South Park where it has a lot of offensive humor or a lot of humor that's going on in society. But unfortunately with Velma, none of that humor really lands because none of the characters were very sympathetic. At least in the case of Daria and South Park, you actually have very sympathetic characters who are very aware of their situations and they look at themselves and they're like hmm how can I better myself how can I be a better person from all these social issues that I'm dealing with and with Velma herself she's just such an unlikable character and it shows that she doesn't seem to want to change to a better person or anything like that like she's still snarky towards everybody she comes across especially towards Norville despite the fact that Norville is like her best friend so I didn't like the fact that none of the characters were that sympathetic and compared to shows like Daria and Sal Park which also had the same type of humor at least with those characters they're way more sympathetic and I can actually cheer on those characters but Velma I just can't cheer on any of these characters but overall I didn't really care much for Velma the fact that I only watched four episodes of the show so far and I didn't bother to watch the rest of the episodes for this season it's really telling about how much I didn't really enjoy this show like with most new TV shows that come out I at least try to watch the whole season so that way I have a very good idea what the show is all about but with Velma I was only able to make it past four episodes before I just kind of give up on the show because I just didn't like the direction the show was going in and I didn't like any of the characters and I didn't like the fact that this doesn't feel like a Scooby-Doo show to me especially as a huge fan of the Scooby-Doo franchise so yeah I probably wouldn't recommend 
recommend watching Velma at all, especially if you're a huge Scooby-Doo fan, you're going to be really disappointed with the show and the fact that it doesn't really feel like a Scooby-Doo show and the fact that the humor itself was just so cringy and the characters themselves were so unlikable. You probably wouldn't like this show that much. So that's my thoughts on Velma and tell me in the comments down below, have you seen the new Velma TV series? And if so, did you like the show? Did you hate the show? And what was the worst reimagining of a beloved franchise that you have ever seen? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's blog, Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, animation fans. Like this video? If you want to see more animated content from this channel, then please hit that big old animated subscribe button so that you can get more awesome content from this channel.